and welcome to a slightly different unboxing today because um, I can't know what's in there although not exactly first of all friends hoodie have you watched the video where I talked about buying so hoodies a size larger than normal t-shirt my t-shirts then uh, yeah it's actually really comfortable it goes like that much with my hands it covers me up it's nice it's cozy Let's do the actual thing. So she says, grabbing for a bottle of water because that's the kind of professionalism you've got to expect for this series. <coughs> but it's that or dry throat what you want. So some of you eagle-eyed people may have noticed this cushion and wondered, oh, that's a cute cushion. I wonder what it is. Well, my friends, today I'm going to tell you. This is Medusa. Well, Modest Medusa. She is a Medusa monster child called Modest. Why am I telling you about her? Because in this box contains my latest Kickstarter. Now, funny story, um, I've actually become friends with the artist over Discord and um, he mentioned having gone to a convention and saying about the contents of this book, this box having kind of sold out. I'm like, oh, because I didn't get mine. And he's like, oh, I thought you had. This is it now, and then I kind of made a half joke with him about while well, it gets in good time, I'll uh, do an unboxing about it. He said, Yeah, all right. So, this is what the unboxing is about. But first, allow me to introduce you to Modest. She is the subject of an online comic. These are the collected works of so we have volume one, volume two, and volume three. Now, you'll notice it's, it gets darker. Essentially, it starts off as a... Uh, you'll see that Modest style changed a little over the thing anyway. So this is actually everything I got here that you're going to see is from various Kickstarter campaigns. So I've got the little sketch wise. This is not. This was a printout um, of a particular panel that I found to be quite good. So I turned it into a bookmark because I thought it was just like a nice long image, which works well as a bookmark. So it basically starts when Jake, our hero and artist, comes home, finds his apartment, his toilet flooded, and it turns out there's a wee monster girl. And so it starts with like a, you know, slice of life, you know, adventures with a little monster girl kind of story. And then... Um, Finally, even at some point, developed into a massive epic, of, and I don't know which panel this. In fact, I think this one has a book plate. Uh, has a pull-out panel. I don't know which one it is. And having got these as um, the hardback books, obviously there are. We well, can see here. There's like lots of action happening here. All of these comics, by the way, aside from like bonus comics so this is like the exclusive content for getting the kickstarter um well for the kickstarter but basically um it, you can still buy the books there will be links down below well the, you can buy them when they're on sale and they'll still contain this stuff um but yeah so basically yeah so you've got author's notes and such all of the comics that are the main storyline comics apart from a few couple of specials that he did for whichever reasons um, are available online again there will be a link down below it's basically modestproducer.com um, so yeah you can start off with the slice of life stuff and then see how you get on with the adventure stuff so one two th three volumes I know aha here it is one of them had a massive pull out so yeah here we go How's that for your action adventure monster girl storyline? So yeah, um, level one, I do recommend the, the online comic. Um, like I said, all that's for free. Except obviously there's bonus material in here, but that's because you buy the book. And that's fair enough. As well as that, um, he's produced a couple other books. We have a little colouring book. And it is literally Modest Medusa learns to colour. And that is an alphabet of all things modest. I haven't coloured in any of these, um, but I do have. Again, I don't know the. I don't know if this one is available in his shop, 
but there is um, a PDF version. And even like there's a comic about her learning to co uh, colour in the thing. But there is a PDF version which I have. So if I were going to colour it, I'd probably print the printouts and leave the book all nice and pristine because I'm weird like that. Um, but as part of the prizes for supporting the Kickstarter, I have an original artwork panel. And this is um, S for Snakes because um, Jake was like, so which one do you want? I was like, I don't know, my name's Michelle Speck. And he goes, all right, I'll worry about it. I'll, I'll find something. So uh, yeah, I got a modest with snakes. We also have, so yeah, that's that. There is also, and you'll have, oh, hang on. We'll come back to those. Another book, um, some collected 24 hour comics. Uh, I don't know if people do still do this, but if you know or support online artists, a uh, little sticker, another signed book plate. I've got this guy's autograph so many times now. Um, yeah, if you know any follow any artists, you know a lot of them do like 24 hour comics. So this is a collection of the 24 hour comics that Jake has done over the past how many years he's been doing it. And again, I don't know if these are still available online. Maybe they are. I haven't looked for a while because I have the book. And obviously they are just like black and white line drawings, but still very cute. So that's his books, mostly. Teased a second ago, we have art. So this is Modest and her sisters. Yes, she has sisters. There's a whole thing with that. Um, cosplaying as Wolverine. Um, hanging out with Ms. Marvel and Batgirl. Sorry, this is really heavy. Um, is that Cat Noir and Ladybug or something like that? I can't remember. It's not my watch. Um, I, watched, I, see, I think I did watch the first episode and thought it was quite cute, but I didn't go back to it. Uh, hanging out with the turtles, which is very awesome and reminds me of my show air in that picture. Um, grabbing sushi. Because why wouldn't you grab sushi? And cosplaying as... I can't remember if it's Finn. I think it's Poe, isn't it? I haven't watched the, those Star Wars movies as well. And then this one is an original scratch artwork from a separate project that Jake did. Oh, that's heavy. Called The Magical Land of Yeld. So this is the, the mini sort of friend's guide, sort of play guide thing. And again, it's colouring in pages. So that's like your quick start guide. That's your double-sided play board. And then this oh, is the rule book. There's actually an expansion being written, again, available on his website. Unfortunately, the Kickstarter for that didn't fully um, fund, but it's an expansion called um, Mermaid Hunters. Um, again, there will be links. Um, so you can buy this as a PDF and Mermaid Hunters as a PDF. Um, and it is a proper RPG. It shows you, you know, how to do uh, weapons, various character stuff, little little comic strips all the way, and it's basically Yeld is where Medusa comes from, where Modest comes from, and it's where her and her sisters live. And a nice big epic thing at the back, and there are stories in the books that explain some of the stuff in here, and then um, yeah, and then some of the other stuff in here sort of then turns up again in the story. There is, I can't speak to the quality of this because I've not actually sat down and read it yet, a second comic that he does called, okay, uh, it's come completely out of my head, I'll link that as well, but that's a secondary adventure story that he writes um, about a hero, oh, flip, I've forgotten the name now, but yeah, so that's something else where he said that basically the, that story is eventually going to meet up with the um, stories in Yell. So yes, that's something to look forward to. I'm not even at the unboxing yet. We also have a tin of goodies. Um, so on one side we have mermaids looking out the window and on the other side we have the art print you've already seen. Inside, eels, my uh, skins for 3DS, which I still have my 3DS, but I do want to put the skins on because I'm one of those weird people that likes keeping my stuff like super nice and clean if I can. So even though I have the decals, I didn't bother using them. They actually came in, again, everything was part of the Kickstarter. So the books in any given Kickstarter would have been the main thing. 
And then anything I'm showing you now will be like the bonus items. And some of it's got a bit curly. Uh, so here we have um, some more artwork postcards, which I probably should put in the folder actually. There we go. There's that one. Hanging out with Wonder Woman, which I've recently watched and really quite enjoyed. That's Mara and. I can't remember who that is now. But yeah. So that's more characters from the thing. Uh, we have. Oh, there you go. On the internet for free at modestmedusa.com. There we go. And that's Modest Riding Chainsaw Unicorn. Yes, that's a character. Uh, this is a mini version of a 24 hour comic. I'm pretty sure that's featured in the book, main book. But we have a mini version as well. We have what I call a badge, but some Americans would call a button. Again, it's got the Modest Original Design. So. Sorry, this is rambly. When Jake first came up with the concept, he drew her older than he intended. So in the original thing, she looks more like she could be closer to eight or nine. Um, she's actually supposed to be like four or five. So that's why her style changes. And uh, so we've got, I guess a portal one. Um, turtles. Cute. <laughs> oh, that's the Sailor Moon thing. Uh, Black Widow? Something else? Some kind of superheroine. Oh, that's... Pretty sure that's some kind of um, Daft Punk thing. Uh, I think I think that's Journey? That, that weird game where you just sort of walk? I've never played it. I've seen some interesting reviews for it. And now we're back to Portal. So that's those stickers. There's loads. This is what I mean. You know, you pay, you pay your price. This... This was a kickstart prize. You pay the price. And like I said, he's really good. If you sort of talk to him about stuff, he's quite he can be quite gone with it. I mean it depends on your request. I can only speak to my experiences. Uh another sticker just looking cute. More character stickers. Oh, there's Mara, her friend, Jake's nephew uh, niece, sorry. Niece. Who is based on a real person? She's like, could that be in the comic? Or oh, I think he asked. Uh oh, that's a um Pacific Rim. That's kind of cool. And we have the Doctor. We have Princess Mononoke. I don't know, I haven't seen it. Um, X-Men. Some X-Men character. And then back to Riley. So yeah, there we go. There's still more things in here. I know, we'll get to the unboxing in a moment. It's crazy. Thank you for sticking with me. Uh, we have a couple of dice. And there's two of them, so it's dice. Um, which are, I'm pretty sure they've got the same design all the way around. I don't know if that's going to show on this light, but yeah. So there's a blue one and a black one. They're just simple D6s. I think he did um, talk to, see about getting special, more specialist dice. But since, and again, I haven't actually read the Yeld book. But I'm pretty sure in all the introductory stuff, it's just, just D6s, no specialist design. Dice, which is good because it's designed to be you know, a gateway game like accessible to children or people who haven't played much RPG. There we go, there's a bruiser for you. Oh, this is quite cute. It's a um, fold up character. So you have you can have your little, little fold up character, I've got two of them. Um, not the size of this plane. And these are kind of cool, these are special. Oh, this is completely separate. Why I also happen to have a um, Snow White cell, so that's fun. Um, so basically, one of the Kickstarters, um, Jake was one of the prize levels was, hey, I'll send you an original, um, you know, line, you know, uh, pen drawing um, on Bristol board. He sent me this one, which was the most popular choice, and I guess you can see why, because you know, a guy punching a horse is always interesting. However, that's not the one I wanted. So I said to him, sort of politely, said, oh, thank you for that, but that's not the one I originally asked for. He goes, oh, okay, what did you ask for? And I described the one I was, the panel I was actually interested in, and so he sent me that as well. So I actually have two Jake Richmond originals, which is quite nice, quite cool. So that's the tin, and I promise you that is the end of that pile of stuff. So if you... Uh, if you'll indulge me while I put things back into the tin so they don't spill everywhere. 
and I will finally get to the unboxing portion of this unboxing video. So here we are. Here is my trusty rainbow knife. Uh, oh, for those of you who are coming into this one thinking, oh, things look a bit different. Yes, I have a new little light. It's um, a selfie light I bought from Tesco for five pounds. And it is surprisingly good for the money. It's only a wee thing. But um, if you want to see it, it's uh, featured in the video below this one. But I think it's doing a good job. So there we go. So I know for a fact there's a book in here. Unfortunately, it's softback rather than hardback. He, um, he he did explain in the Kickstarter that I think it was production costs or something is why he can't keep doing the hardbacks, which is a bit of a shame because it means all my books won't match. Um, but yeah, so he's very neatly bubble wrapped it for me. Pop that over there. Let me just. I oh know it's it's just gently taped, and let's carefully so first things first we have uh, the pin which is very cute i like that it's good size as well you see it's like a couple inches so that will fit nicely on your chest there i'll add to the pile we have because it's me and we can't go that long without having one a new t-shirt uh fruit of the loom so that's good. Lovely blue. Love this colour. And it is... It's one of the characters. It's one of the hero characters. I thought it was actually... I may have gotten confused. It's maybe me. Because it was... Oh yeah, because it was a yelled t-shirt and not a modest t-shirt. But yeah, so that's one of the characters from the other. It's very cute. And a lovely colour. And it is just the one. Yeah. Also, it's probably been in storage for a while. Right size as well. Yay. I'm going to leave that folded up neatly so I don't have to worry about folding it up again. So there we go, there's my t-shirt. We have... Okay, wow, the um... I knew it was softback. I'm going to have to double check. I'm pretty sure the season four is a lot smaller. Let me just check. I know, same size, just being a paperback makes it look a bit smaller um so yeah i haven't i haven't read this one yet so i don't know what the additional material is i'll be honest with you when it comes to the um books themselves i've mostly um just read um like i haven't really gone through it i've got like, some of the, the notes so i haven't reread all of the main storyline in the comics the, the actual physical copies i have but i have read all the bonus material so i'm looking forward to reading the bonus material on this one um here you go it, it kind of after all the chaos in yells and everything that happens there um we get some more slice of life stuff but then we get more adventuring so he's kind of going slice of life big adventure slice of life uh we're currently on the internet on the actual web comic back into some more slice of life story so that's cool uh so yeah there's you've got your your big action scenes here with a lot going on there and I'm, I'm the re there's a reason I'm deliberately pulling it away because if you are going to read it then the next page is quite spoilerific so um I can't remember if he's going to do a pull-up page on this one again oh hey look sticker yay like a sticker uh little little snake coming out with a thank you that's cute I like that Oh, that's adorable! Just, just modest, being modest. So you know, playing a game, playing her DS, making snowmen, dressing up. Oh, they're going out uh, for adventures and just cuddling it with her teeth. Something feels something feels solid, but maybe that's just the um, the print. But yeah, I think I think that's everything that's loose in there. Yeah. That's all the loose stuff. So there's my new book. Then we also have more art prints because I went for all the art prints. So I will admit there are some fan of stuff here that I may not immediately get. So if you know what it is, feel free to think. So modest, and that must be Ekans being chased by a box monster. <laughs> 
Um, oh, hey -o. I end up getting secondary copies of stuff. Um, so yeah, there's another one of that. Another one of that. I'll have to double check the um, awards scheme because I'm sure I wasn't supposed to have all of them. Although, because he was late, I did sort of half tease him about, you know, oh, have you got stuff lying around? Um, there's that again. Uh, this is new. Uh, I can't remember what that is. I know it. It's one of the... Um, No, it's completely gone. But I do know what it is. I, I'm pretty sure I watched it. Um, oh, well, there's a lot going on here. Oh, I'm guessing that's some kind of game. Is that a diva? Is that Overwatch? It looks like a diva. I'm not, again, I've not played Overwatch. And, uh... <laughs> Home is where the DS Tarja is. I can relate. I can relate. So there we go, there's that. And that looks like the or unless there's um because a couple of these were in there are separate baggies, so I'm gonna double check there's nothing secondary. So I'm sure there were a couple of designs I was supposed to be getting separate from that. Uh no. So we got a couple of double ups, but that's okay because I'll go give them to a friend. Uh but yeah, there we go. That is everything that was in there. Um Jake, I hope you appreciate this. Because um, I did tell him I was going to do this, and um, sorry it's rambly, but this is my style. This is this is how I do it. Um, but I showed off everything. I showed off everything I've got, so I hope you appreciate that. Um, and yeah, pop those in there to keep them safe. They will be going into the folder with all the other art prints and keeping safe. That's nuts. So that's that. And yeah, got that lovely new book smell. Uh, obviously the book, probably your favourite. Because that's what it was all about. Uh, this pin is adorable. Um, I do like a good collector's pin. And the t-shirt, it was not what I was expecting, but that's that's probably my memory. Um, I thought it was going to be, like I said, I thought it could be a modest t-shirt rather than a yells t-shirt. But that's okay. Um, yeah, so, uh, you know me, love a t-shirt. Uh, yeah, art prints. The sticker's very cute. I do like the sticker. So there you go, I hope you've enjoyed me rambling on about, you know, the cuteness that is Modest Medusa and all the stuff I have for her and her production. Um, I'll not, 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 uh, not words. Not a huge amount more I can add at this point. Um, as I said, all links will be down below, including the link. He does do a third comic, I should say. Um, as he loves Cora, uh, but I haven't seen read that one because I haven't watched either um, Last Airbender or <clears throat> sorry Avatar, just you know the the cartoon series at all um, the Cora series. So I, I I don't feel like I can you know, I can watch those series because I wouldn't I, you know, I couldn't read them. I mean I'm not against them. I haven't watched them. And if I did watch them, I probably would check out Jake's comic based on them. Um, I haven't got my computer on, so I can't look up the other one. But I will make sure there's a link to the modest, the modest one, the secondary one. Um, actually, the modest and the other one are still on there. So you can get those, but I'll, I'll make separate links for them. And I will link up... There's a Yeld, there's an actual Yeld page and a page to his shop. So I will actually make the description linktastic um, this time around because, you know, he's good people and this is his job. So as much love in any way that you feel he deserves after checking out all his work, I'm sure will be greatly appreciated. So I'm actually cooking dinner at the same time as I'm recording this. So I will say uh, ta-ta for now. Appreciate you watching, especially those of you who stuck away all the way to the end. As always, you are the awesome people. I completely appreciate you. I've been Michelle, you've been listening, and I will catch you next time. Bye!